Hi, uh, you can hear the birds chirping. It's a good morning for solar and batteries, isn't it? <clears throat> Welcome back. We've got a project we just finished up last evening. I want to share it with you. It's this Airstream Flying Cloud. And uh, we actually didn't do solar on it, but we did batteries, uh, solar charger, and a battery monitor. And I want to talk about each of those things real quick. Uh, so here we did the uh, GC2 batteries with the, uh, you can see it's tough to see back here, the shunt. Uh, in this case, it's, it's uh, real easy to want to go with the smart shunt because it's much easier to actually finish the wiring on, which we're going to talk about later. We're probably actually going to break that up in a second video. Um, <clears throat> but in this case, we went the, with the BMV. Um, I wish there was a way to make this look a little bit nicer. I just haven't figured it out. And again, and maintainable. I could wire, uh, wire tie everything together, but then, okay, if you want to pull these out in the winter, then what? Just doesn't make sense. So, uh, that's what we got going on there. Then inside, I'm going to save the best for last here. There we go. And here we upgraded the solar controller to the Victron Smart Solar. And that works really well with the BMV battery monitor and also added a disconnect in there. I'm a big fan of having a disconnect because uh, it's just nice to know that the entire system is dead. And uh, so anyway, we pulled all that stuff out of there. It wasn't too much trouble. And then uh, we also replaced the converter with one that is lithium compatible. So, and here's the part of it that I'm the most thrilled with, let's go, is getting the BMV display, the Victron battery monitor display right here where the old solar controller used to go. And believe it or not, we reused the wires that were running right there. So we did not have to run new wires. And uh, I'm gonna talk about exactly how we did that in the next video. So be looking for that if you are curious. Um, but other than that, uh, this project went pretty smooth. Uh, this is one that took probably about a day, maybe a little bit more, but they left it and it was nice to work on it here. Not a big one, but uh, something to be done nonetheless. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in getting something done on your Airstream or RV or whatever you got, let us know. See if we can help you out. Thanks. Bye.